So this is a game that I don't particularly expect many of you guys to necessarily be fond of. However, you guys will definitely want to stick by this video to hear what I have to say real quick. So for a while, I've been on this break that I've had to go through because of an eye surgery, among other things. It was legitimately all over the place. It was pretty messy. But for the most part, I wanted to take a break to go on vacation and deal with my eye surgery that I had to go through. And ultimately, I just I just really needed some time to take care of myself and take care of things I had to get around to, which I will explain all in this video and i will also explain why i'm playing bee swarm simulator out of every game i could be playing right now at the moment but yeah basically if you guys are just interested in seeing where i've been these past couple of days and maybe even a week or two this video is for you now luckily i got around to making a whole bunch of videos that went up on my channel while i was gone however it was a four day wait to get another video or something like that yeah that's going to change as well to start off i want to talk about where i've been over the break that i just took as well as what i'm going to be doing in this game real fast Pretty much all I'm really doing in this game is I'm going to try and get 35 bees because if I get 35 bees, I get that gate. And that's like one of the last areas I need to unlock. So yeah, that, that's pretty nice. I've been playing a lot of Bee Swarm Simulator and Bloons Tower Defense 6 while I've been recovering from my eye surgery. About three days ago, I didn't even have this 25 gate unlocked. And now I'm here. This, this, is, this is where I'm at. I also have this many bees. And not only that, but I have the A sprinkler. I, I, I can't remember the name of the sprinkler, but I have the golden one i made a lot of progress in the last three days <laughs> i've had nothing better to do anyways i just basically went on this very nice much needed vacation that i went on with my girlfriend anuk and we just had a really good time we went outside touched a lot of grass during this time frame we went to the mall bookstore we went dancing we did just a whole bunch of things together and it really got me out of the house it was all really nice and all of this if not majority of it was done right before i went in for my eye surgery and if any of you guys are new to my channel or new to my content here i went through an eye surgery it's a minor surgery so it's nothing too crazy but it was a much needed health surgery surgery that I needed to go through because I have a disease known as keratoconus in both of my eyes and I went through a surgery or a process whatever you want to refer to it as called cross-linking that's all the details I'm going to give because I've talked about it before on this channel already but I essentially went through that and it's been a couple of days since I've been going through the recovery stage of that and for anyone who's curious my doctors have said that my right eye that I went through a while back is 100% stable it looks really good right now I mean just hearing the word stable from a doctor makes me really happy because of the fact that that means it's probably not going to fluctuate at all so it is where it is and it no longer has keratoconus or something like that i'm not i'm not exactly sure as for my left eye it's just recovering but they said that it's looking really good and i just got to keep up with my eye drops if you guys have been watching me for a while i've had you guys help me on my past live streams where it's like please remind me whenever the timer hits zero or something like that and then you guys would let me know and then you guys would scream eye drops at me in my chat it was a great time but yeah you guys were also helping me take care of myself and I really appreciate that. But yes, eyes are doing good. However, the past couple days have been absolutely horrible because I was not able to see at all. My right eye is a lot worse than my left eye. And since I got my left eye done with surgery it made that eye also worse so i basically just had to survive with low vision the past couple of days however for some reason on monday which is the day of that i'm recording this and probably the day that you guys are seeing this video as well hopefully i have pretty solid vision and the reason why i'm so surprised about it is because yesterday it was still pretty low vision it got slightly better but today it's like almost as good as what it was before i went through the surgery however it's still slightly worse so i'm hoping that it continues to improve which it more than likely will if it got to this point now at this point though i just have to continue to worry about taking my medicinal eye drops which is antibiotics and steroids for my eye as well as just taking care of myself overall and i should be fine everything should go pretty good i believe i'm not really worried about it because up to this point it's been really nice it's been going pretty well and i'm glad that i'm recovering fast however i will say this though because a lot of you guys wonder and ask me if it hurt again this eye surgery didn't hurt at least not during the actual process of the treatment it essentially went by pretty quick just kind of like the right eye did as well but the actual procedure itself is not very difficult for the person that has to undergo it the hardest part is literally just keeping your eyes still whenever they cut it but they don't tell you when they cut it they just kind of say keep your eyes still keep staring at this light or keep staring at this and then they cut it and you don't even really realize that your eyes being cut because of the fact that they pour eye drops in your eye and then they cut it so like your vision hasn't fully recovered from the eye drops just yet when they're doing the cut so it's really it's really not bad trust me it's not as bad as it might sound because even i 
was extremely nervous going into my first ever surgery. And since I knew what to expect with this second time that I go in, it was not that bad at all. But yeah, I've just basically been on break. I prepared a couple of videos that you guys were able to see while I was gone. It wasn't really frequent. And it wasn't really a lot of videos either, but I tried my best to get as many videos as I possibly could out for you guys during this time where I was on this vacation and my surgery recovery stuff. Keep in mind though, that I will still be recovering from my surgery. I have been taking it easy. That's actually why you guys are seeing Beast Worm Simulator instead of any other game, which is kind of funny to me considering the fact that there's a lot of things that still happen on screen whenever it comes to Beast Worm Simulator. However, it's been strangely easy on my eyes. It hasn't really been hurting my eyes. It hasn't really been straining them. It's just been pretty simple and straightforward. All I have to do is hold WASD and the left mouse button, and that's the majority of the Beast Worm Simulator gameplay. However, for some reason, it's heavily addicting. If you guys haven't already, definitely give Beast Worm Simulator a try. It's a popular game on Roblox for really good reasons. It's it's just a really good game overall. I'd highly recommend it. I'm just surprised with my progress that I've made within the past couple days because I've been non-stop playing it since I've literally had nothing better to do because everything else seems to, you know, not be really kind to my eyeballs. Such as first-person shooters. I've tried a little bit of them. And as you can imagine, I hopped off of those games very quickly because having low vision and also trying to recover from this eye surgery on top of trying to play a first-person shooter isn't really a good idea or particularly easy. And also, I don't expect all of you guys or many of you guys to even know exactly what I'm getting up to in Beast Worm Simulator. All you guys really need to know is I'm trying to get a lot of honey so that I can do more things with my self basically i just want to be able to get to end game in this game which i'm nowhere close to because of how grindy this game is but the grind is nice it's very welcome in my honest opinion i'm going to continue to try out some first person shooters since i feel that's what my main form of game and grind and just i, I don't know it's just my main type of genre of game on this channel at the moment i just really enjoy first person shooters so i'm going to definitely try it off camera and see how that goes but i'm not 100 sure i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it up and keep trying to see what happens but no promises that it's coming back really soon no promises that's gonna take a long time either we'll just have to see where it goes and another thing too is i know that a lot of you guys subscribe to me for a specific game and a good amount of you guys also stayed because of my personality and just know that i really appreciate any subscribers i get even the ones that might hate on me because of the fact that oh i'm not uploading what you want me to upload anymore or something like that because when i look back on it as like a viewer of other youtubers myself because i like to watch other youtubers sometimes as well right i understand where everyone's coming from i understand all points of view but keep in mind that going forward with this channel and as well as my second channel, Unico, I am going to pretty much just do whatever I want to do whenever I want to do it, as well as just kind of do what I love and love what I do. Because these are like some of the main things I felt that I was missing with my past content. And coming back from my break, that is the way that I'm going to be doing things from this point forward, because I want to keep my sanity. I'm not going to sell my soul just to be a content creator. There's no point in selling my soul to obtain the dream that I want and then regretting the dream that I got because it's not exactly the way that I envisioned it. To give a little bit more details and insight onto what I mean, I mean that I want YouTube as my dream job, but I don't want to become a YouTuber for something that I don't want to even be a YouTuber for. I want to have fun doing YouTube, essentially. I want it to be so nice and entertaining for myself that it's not even like a job to me anymore. And now that we're on the topic of content, I want to talk about some of the plans for upcoming content. Frequent uploads are coming back. I'm going to try to upload every single day once again. I'm not 100% sure how efficient I will be at that. To be honest with you guys, I might miss a upload like once a week or something. But at the most, I think that I should be able to pull off six videos a week. So almost daily. Just, you know, I might miss a day. And this also goes for my other channel, Unico, too. So if you guys really like me for my content and you guys want to see me able to play games also outside of Roblox, check out my other channel, Unico. Otherwise, there's just going to be a lot of Roblox content I'm going to be finally being able to deliver to you guys. But for the actual plan side of things, and not just me telling you how frequently I plan on uploading, I also plan on just continuing with the whole gaming goal idea that I had, where basically I set up a bunch of main goals on different games that I want to accomplish, and then I go and try to accomplish all the those goals within those games because it helps me with two major issues that I had with video games up to this point and that is I want to be able to continue to entertain myself with little chance of burnout which usually for me is creating challenges or creating goals for myself and doing that has really helped me play games even longer for longer periods of time as well as continue to help me grind the game without burning out and not only that but I feel like it helps me create my content that I want to create because I like to just be able to talk to you guys whenever I create any 
any type of content, streaming, videos, you name it. I just like being able to talk a lot because that's just what I do, I guess. But as of right now, I think that my current main goals in terms of Roblox games is I wanted to finish up getting Damascus Hue in Bad Business and among other things. I'm not going to get too into it right now, but I do have a couple of goals out there that I'm going to be uh, focusing on and accomplishing. I honestly might even add Beast Worm Simulator into that sometime soon because I've really been enjoying Beast Worm Simulator and it's helped me not be terribly bored during my recovery process and th this game is also super grindy nonetheless anyway so if i wanted to get true end game in this game i have a very long ways ahead of me even if you get the best items the best tool the best backpack the best gear all of it even if you get the best of those you're still not done because you have to unlock all the other items like planters and oh it's just a mess if you play beast Worm simulator you know exactly what i'm talking about i just don't want to talk anyone's ear off right now by just talking about all the stuff that is Beast Worm Simulator. But those are my plans. Those are my current goals. I also ended up getting a Steam Deck Mini, which helps me out so much with content creation. I currently have it set up to start and stop my recordings as well as pause my recordings it also helped me out with taking better thumbnail photos because i have a button on it that will straight up just take a screenshot for me as well as i have a start and stop stream button on it i also have stuff for replay buffers on it and for those of you who don't know which i'm assuming there's a decent amount because this is a content creation thing i have this replay buffer button and what that essentially lets me do is i'm able to save a replay of something that happens within a game it's just gonna be nice for content creation it's already being a huge help i'm actually using it for this video i got it for christmas whoo i love it i hope that you guys all had a wonderful christmas and a new year's though i wasn't really here to be able to talk to you guys much about all that stuff because i went on break and uh it was a nice break it was a much needed one but i'm glad to be back it feels weird to be back but it feels like i almost never left either and without further ado i can't wait to see all of you guys in the next one Bye bye